couldn't come too much bigger than this one. 90 minutes to decide whether they can take the big step up. The manager has challenged his players to deliver a statement, a warning shot to prospective opponents for next season. This is it. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena. Absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. We have already started here. Paris Saint-Germain cannot consider the option of defeat. It's not a question of want, but must. Guardiola, whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. Shapes to shoot! The muscular approach does pay off here. Musiala! And it's Guardiola. Well, here's your hero, goal scorer, match winner, saviour, all in one. Lionel Messi is indeed one of a kind, and history shows that he is all of those things and so much more. Yeah, and we can testify to that, having covered quite a few of those games where he showed the very best qualities. Yeah, time after time, it is a tale of the extraordinary, and we've come to expect the extraordinary from him. We have. Guardiola did just about enough to come out on top there. Neither party overly willing to compromise. David Villa. There they go, hunting in packs. Dembele. And he was quick to react. He's looking to set free a runner. Musiala! And with that, they take a giant step towards the promised land. Well, as options go, that was a superb choice. It's over and in. Job done. The goal scorer for Paris Saint-Germain after 15 minutes is number 42. Paris Saint-Germain penetrate first. It is a truly precious lead. Well, Peter, this now poses the question of stick or twist. Do they immediately go for another one or sit back and wait patiently for the opportunity to break? And the shot! That is lovely. And it's Guardiola. And now the hit! And the two sides separated by the game's only breakthrough moment to this point. 1-0 the score. Messi. Alexander-Arnold. Ronaldinho. Oh, that's fabulous. It's a goal kick. Alexander-Arnold, it's a promising run he's making on the right. And it's Messi, Alexander-Arnold. Guardiola kept aware, and it is reclaimed easily. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Another pass just keeps it ticking. He's got a side of goal! Now, who's going to be first to this? Oh, good spread. Alexander-Arnold, great leap! It's run loose, who's going to get there? Aldair has got himself a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. Aldair... Now Van Balten. 30 minutes gone. 
Well, facing up to his adversary, this is a formidable matchup. Drilled in low. And he's made sure that's not getting through. David Villa. And it's Ronaldinho. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Hakimi. Maritona. Oh, easy pickings there. Cristiano Ronaldo. It looks very much like they'd be happy to settle for this narrow lead at the break. Over to the left, Nuno Mendes. Deco. That's headed upfield. Been cut out well played. Oh, he's burst through. Maratona chance sticks it away. That is his ton, and does he not know it? Yeah, I call that transition with bite. They won it back and a bit hard. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And it's Guardiola. Well, there was an element of promise insofar as they kept the ball well, but they did very little with it. Messi delivering the goods as expected. Well, not only can a player of such high calibre show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment. This guy was born to create. And that'll be the last act of the first half. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when Just they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Paris Saint-Germain in control at half-time, 2-0. Here we go again, then. So, both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. Dembele unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that. And that's surely a foul free kick. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Messi. Maratona. Dembele. Oh, it's just a little long. Stones. Guardiola. And it's Ronaldinho. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. David Villa. No, no way through there. Vieira. Messi, who set up one goal so far. Deco. And it's Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. It's Ronaldinho! And the keeper has reacted superbly there. Ronaldinho is offering a right smile there. Oh, perfectly measured that. He is through here. Oh, shooting chance! And surely that settles it. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, at one stage, he was being body checked, Peter, and then the next minute, it's in the back of the net. That's wonderful striking. A case now of complete control. The attendance for this match was 71,550. DeMarco. Guardiola. 
Alexander Arnold. Well, Peter, just see here how a lot of the attacking players aren't dropping back anymore. And that means just one thing, I suppose. Yeah, they just simply want to engage the counter-attack. Well, they've got it back in a hurry. Neither of these two want to come off second best. Rusiala. Guardiola. For Messi. Ah, he's had it taken off him. Now it's Messi. You can never be short of runners in the space, as long as the space left behind is filled. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Not the worst challenge in the world, Peter, but this really isn't the time for it, is it? Well, Sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play, and uh, it makes even less sense. Substitution on the field, number eight. So, time for changes Rodinho. on both sides, actually. Number 20, Deco. Guardiola. Coming on the field, number Paris Saint-Germain do have Phil options Fatty. available on the bench number if they want 15, to go that way. Alexander-Arnold, played into Gideon. the box. Substitution There's nothing place. more infuriating for a fan than seeing passing without penetration. They're just stuck in a rut. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. Foden. Oh, he's found support out wide. Up to meet it! It's in! Great header, made it look easy. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. So is this the start of a comeback? Forwards and with intent. And it's Rivaldo. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. That looks a decent ball. Guardiola. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Alexander Arnold. And it's Stones. Oh, red, nice interception. Guardiola. Foden plays it in. Cristiano Ronaldo. Kaka. And the counter is on. Now, this could be a chance. Messi. And he cuts out the supply. Now it's Rivaldo. Foden. Foot in. And that is good. Super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. Guardiola. This is De Jong. There will be three minutes Foden. of time. On Sufati. Added time going up here. It's three minutes. 
He's found a way through. They want to be quick here. It's breakaway time. Well time. Excellent interception. And that's that. Paris Saint-Germain have done it. A promotion sealed with a win. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain really deserve full marks to have come through such a difficult game in the manner they did. There's always a, a feeling that the fear of losing is what ultimately decides games like this, but not on this occasion. They played the game and the occasion beautifully. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. I'd like to draw your attention to the screen right now for information on our shuttle bus service. Hit me with that like. And sub to the channel. Hit me with that like. And click the effing bell. Click that bit alright. The algo recommends. For sure you don't like. The algo knows you well. Hit me with that like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me with that like. And click the effing bell.